and a couple of PCs. Just a couple. Yeah. These are from back in the day. This is my scrap. There is many scrap like it, but this one is mine. We're going to start off removing all the power supplies out of every PC here. It just makes everything manageable and gets a lot of room left for your hands to work with. Now, I set them up this way because I like to move in a production type manner when I'm scrapping things out. I've always found dominoes fascinating. Right now I'm just getting them all set up prepared because we're going inside of them. I'm going to rip out all the power supplies, get most of the wiring that just comes right out. I'll set all that in a pile real quick and then we'll go from there. All right, now that we have some room, it's time to start on the motherboards. A few simple screws here and there. Some of them get a little bit sticky and uh, want to argue with you. But you know what? Just rip them out. This is all scrap. It's really nice to come prepared with uh, tools you can use. Uh, unlike Ro there, I see he's struggling with that drill that he has. Looks like he needs an extension. He can't seem to find out where he put it, so he goes back to using the damn screwdriver. I'm just showing you here in real time what I do after I uh, get these boards out. I'll take out the RAM and then I'll mess around with this cooler because it's extruded aluminum. I'll pop that off. Sometimes the CPUs get stuck to the bottom. You just nick them with a screwdriver and they pop right off. Just like that. Set that extruded off to the side to be cleaned. Go ahead and clean up this board to the best of your ability. Get everything off of it. Remember to get the battery out. Get the battery out. All prices for all boards will be on BoardSource website, BoardSort.com. You guys can go check their prices over there.
I'm gonna go ahead and run this shot in real time. Right now I'm gonna open up one of these uh, DVD drives, pull out the board, give you a little example of what the board will look like because these are all semi-modern computers. The boards aren't as big as they used to be, but they're still very valuable. Run over to Board Sorts website. They pay over $5 a pound for some of this stuff. There's the board right there. You just pop it out. Now listen, pull off a little piece of wire and save it if you're gonna. I'm going to show you what this board looks like. It ain't much, but they pay very well for it. Now make sure you look inside. That right there is a brass rod. It's to pull the actuator and the motor back and forth. Pop those out. Throw them in your brass pile. Get all you can get, y'all. Just a tiny little pile of e-waste here. These boards, I get them uh, $1.50 locally a pound. $1.50 a pound for them boards. Now the extruded radiators are different prices from the copper aluminum I uh, picked up right here, copper aluminum. Uh, different prices. Everything here has a different price. You need to get with your yard or go on websites and see what people pay for this stuff. It's top dollar right now. I guarantee you that. What I'm doing right now with e-waste, like those DVD drives, is I'm going to set those in the back of the room and just forget about them. We're going for barrels of this stuff, not just a couple hundred pounds. We want tonnage. So we're going to store this stuff up, even these slot cards and PCI cards. We're going to store them up until I have so much, I'm going to have to rent a humongous U-Haul and just drive my ass to Ohio. That's going to be a big payday. And I hope you guys are around for that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And by all means, hit that thumbs up and ring the bell. Because I want to teach you what I know and learn from you as well.